This is how to check and add transmission fluid to a 2019 Ford F-150. For this 6R80 transmission, we're going to be using Motorcraft Mercon LV automatic transmission fluid. If you have a 10R80 transmission, you'll need to use Motorcraft's ULV transmission fluid. I'm also going to be using a UV dye because I seem to have a transmission leak, but you don't have to worry about that if you don't have a leak. I know which transmission fluid I need because I have the service manual on all data, which is a database for factory direct repair procedures that allows me to search for the procedures and specifications for my make and model. It's not the cheapest at $20 for one month subscription, but to me it's worth it if you know you're going to be working on your vehicle a lot. And as you can see, it says here, Mercon LV XT10 ULVC. To begin, we first need to start the truck and get the transmission up to operating temperature, which is 206 degrees Fahrenheit to 215 degrees Fahrenheit. As you can see, I'm at 57 degrees Fahrenheit, so I'm going to drive around the neighborhood and come back. While I don't get up to operating temperature, I'm okay with 174 degrees. So what you see me doing now is per the service procedure which is that you have to shift into each gear and hold that gear for five seconds. Once you're done, shift the vehicle back into park and leave the truck running. Now while this warms up a little, let's make our funnel. Now I already know that I'm low on fluid, so I don't need to check first, but if you want to check first, then skip ahead to about 2 minutes and 40 seconds and then come back if you are low and have to add fluid. I don't have a fancy pump that attaches to the fluid bottle, so I'm just going to make one out of this condiment bottle I found and an old air hose I had laying around. If you want to get one of those pumps, Amazon has them for like $11 and they seem to work pretty well. I'll show a picture of what the pump looks like here on the screen in a second. Now you can start to see how this is coming together. Now we're going to fish this hose through the arch liner and let it hang over the frame rail. For reference, this is the location of the transmission fill plug. Passenger side, just behind the tire. Now using a 3 quarter socket or close end wrench, loosen the transmission fill plug. Using caution not to burn yourself on the exhaust. Once you break it loose, you can unscrew the rest of it by hand. Be careful, as the fill plug can also be hot. Next, grab the inside end of the hose and place it inside the opening. Make sure it's a good fit. We don't want the hose to fall while we're trying to fill it. Next, grab that outside end of the hose and attach your funnel. If you're using a pump, you can do this entirely under the vehicle. I'm only pouring a little at a time, then going under the vehicle to check my level. I do this about two or three times to ensure I don't overfill the transmission. To check the level, carefully remove the hose with a towel nearby to catch any escaping fluid and tuck the hose somewhere it won't drip. Make sure to insert the dipstick all the way into the opening giving it a half turn to ensure it's seated properly to get an accurate reading. Note that the plastic dipstick and the transmission fill plug are made to come apart. Use only the plastic dipstick to check the level, you don't need to put the fill plug with it. I'm going to pause the video for a second. This is what the dipstick looks like for a 6R80 transmission that I'm currently working on. The correct level is at the upper level of the letter B. This is the dipstick for the 10R80 transmission and the correct level is between the letter B. This is another variation for the 10R80 and the correct level is between the number 5 and number 6. Once you've determined the fluid is at the correct level, place the dipstick back in the opening followed by the fill plug and hand tighten. 
Grab your socket or wrench and torque to 35 newton meters and you are done. If you've gained something from this video, please leave a like or comment and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.